on a ride with our creepy little brother. And the camera's like, whoa, where'd you go? Oh no, oh no! <laughs> this should be the compass, I believe. Jeez, look at him. <laughs> nice smile there. Don't eat my compass, you bomb chew. Okay. Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. Last episode, we conquered the ancient castle of Ikana, defeating the king and his lackeys to learn the Elegy of Emptiness. And with this new song, we can scale the canyon and make our way to the last of the four main dungeons, Stone Tower Temple. And we've got quite a bit to climb, so bear with me, guys. Now that we have this song, we're gonna be jumping on these switches here and moving these weird cubes around. This place is bizarre, and I'll go into some of the theories about this place in a second. But yeah, the main idea is to try to create these pathways using these floating cubes, and to do that, you need to hold down all these switches. There'll be usually three of them, but we've got some buddies here to help us out. Creepy little links and other different creatures that we can make using our masks. Just remember, the Deku is not gonna be very useful because it can't actually create an image heavy enough to hold down one of these switches. So there we go, we got the second one, and we'll use our Goron form to get this going. You gotta look out for boulders and bemos, and there's fiery keys, a lot of stuff to get in your way. If it wasn't tough enough trying to jump around and play this song a bunch of times, but we'll get up here, and uh, and we'll have you know some good stuff to talk about on the way. So this area, I'm thinking back to when I first played this game, and it was so long ago now, but I remember I got to this point and I was like, this this is very weird. It feels like a lot of the rules are kind of being bent. We're climbing up this crazy like Tower of Babel that leads all the way to the sky. Like they're trying to build up to the goddesses. And uh, it, it just has crazy weird floating monster cubes that are, if you look underneath, actually licking an image of the Triforce. And that leads into a lot of theories about this place. But when I was first playing, I was just kind of like rushing through, as a lot of people do when you're close to the end of the game. You're like, okay, I want to get through and just make my way, you know, to the ending. There's the Zora statue. I think I didn't show you guys these yet in detail. You guys saw the Deku one, but this is uh, Mikau. And then we'll, we'll have another opportunity to make the Darmani one in a second here. But, uh, but yeah, so this, this is like a, such a strange area, and I think I rushed through when I first played and didn't really pay attention to some of the subtle details in here, and we'll talk about those. Let's see what this stone has to say. In the upper course of the Econa Canyon River, there's apparently a shrine that houses great evil. Well, get on, get on the, the right page, buddy. We did that last time. No, giving us a hint about going to fight those Poes and getting the heart piece that we did to finish up the last episode. Oh, jeez. Talk about, you know, avoiding the boulders. Ran right into one. Luckily, we'll be okay. So let's weigh this down. And uh, some of these will get stuck if you don't have another one moved out of the way, but you should be able to just kind of hit them as you go up and not worry too much about it, because once the other ones move, then these will uh, be free to fly around. The camera's gonna zoom all over the place sometimes because not only are we moving certain blocks with these new switches, we are also getting rid of the statues on the other switches, which is gonna cause those blocks to move, so pretty crazy perspectives here, but we'll be through this in just a second. Let's look out for this Beemos. We can use some bombs here to just take them out, and that might save me some time. Oh, didn't mean to set that one down. <laughs> All right, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll get a look at the underside of these weird statues here in a little bit. Right now it's hard to see, but it is kind of like an Easter egg. So many blocks moving around because I wandered over that switch. Oh no, <laughs> jeez. The boulder's like, no, you're gonna be standing on that. Well, while I'm on this thing, let's quickly change into uh, Goron Link and just weigh it down before we get knocked off again. Here we go. Look at the, jeez, the Beemos has a crazy face on him. I never noticed how creepy they are. The textures and everything are definitely a lot nicer looking in this version. If you are playing the N64 version, this temple is gonna have some really different stuff in it, so try to uh, follow along, but you know, this is gonna be covering the 3DS version of the stray fairies and puzzles on the way. Oh, here we go, look out. How about one of those? There we go, and his head will explode as well. All right, made our way past that Beemos. <laughs> Took a little damage, but we'll be all right. Here we go, and then the last of these three is over here. We are almost at the top, guys, already. I promise you. All right, there it is. We just need Macau here to help out. 
Uh, but yeah, this area, it, it just seemed very strange. Like, they kind of threw it together. This is a game that I mentioned. It was, it was kind of a test on the Zelda team to see if they could develop a new Zelda game using a lot of the assets from Ocarina of Time, but having a, you know, a fresh experience and a different story and everything to have a Zelda out not long after Ocarina of Time came out, before the N64, you know, went by the wayside. Gotta be careful with fire if that guy's still around me, because we will be in trouble. Uh-oh, I hope I can block this in time. Let's see. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Knocked me back into that one. There we go. Uh, fire is not good for the Deku and the Zora, and it can, uh, it can mess you up, so be careful with that. All right, those are in place. All the other blocks have stopped moving, and we can jump our way over. And there's another one of these stones of truth here that we can talk to real quick. Here we go. Got a hint for me, buddy. Let's see. Those who allow themselves to be swept away by the Econa Canyon River's current, swift current will eventually find themselves in the swamp. That's all. It's pretty straightforward, really. <laughs> He's a little more, you know, chill than the other uh, truth stones or whatever. All right. Uh, jeez. Just barely avoided that boulder there. All right. And I think we don't have any more switches to hit. We can just kind of make our way up, up, up. Where's the next hookshot target? There it is. We're almost there, guys. I gotta get a little closer. As long as these boulders don't take me out, as long as I don't get knocked off, I'm fine. Other than otherwise, <laughs> we're, I'm cool with taking a little boulder damage. I just really wanna get out of here. There we go. And right around here somewhere, there's a spot over there where if you have the Scarecrow song, you can get the Scarecrow to, uh, to give you a little boost and get some extra goodies. But right now, we're just focused on this and getting up here. All right, phew. We're done climbing, guys, I promise. Man, even after all this time, still used to hitting this thing with a sword to activate it from the 64 version. All right, and we got some supplies here. This is a good time to restart your day cycle if you want. You can restock on a lot of stuff here and, uh, and not worry too much about running out of time. We're good, though. We're only a little bit into a fresh cycle, but you definitely want as much time as possible to talk, tackle this place, especially if you're going to get all the stray fairies. And I recommend being very careful. I even, you know, normally I remember where all the stray fairies are when we play through these, but this one actually have a little list on the side that is going to uh, going to show me all of them in a row so that I don't forget any. All right, so creepy little link. Man, all these blocks moving around. This is what happens, though, because we just made that one disappear. And this is our last one. So normally, you know, they want you to make this whole thing into a bridge using all three of those, but... Here's a quick little way to get across. Just play this and get rid of the one that I just placed on the rightmost switch. And this will take us across and then we don't have to worry. Let's go on a ride with our creepy little brother. And the camera's like, whoa, where'd you go? Oh no, oh no! <laughs> I hope that puts me back there. There's a nice shot of the entire canyon. And, oh man, all right, let me get, <laughs> let me get back to that spot. Okay, one last ride with Link's creepy cousin, and we are out of here. I won't jump off this time. The camera was messing with me. There we go. All right, this is the entrance. And if you do look around here, there's some cool stuff. We're, like, going on a giant tongue. There's a, a huge finger over here pointing up to the goddesses, and there's lots of theories about this place. It's been about 10 years, but I remember reading a little bit before Twilight Princess came out, there was a big theory posted on ZeldaDungeon.net, which is a Zelda fan site, but... They talked about the imagery here and how it's almost like the the people of Termina built this giant tower of Babel sort of deal where either it's kind of against the goddesses or maybe just as a place to store Majora's mask and uh, and keep it prisoner. But it seems like the uh, the people of Termina were more into the the giants that protected them in the uh, in the legends than the goddesses. The goddesses don't seem to have too much power in this land. And uh, maybe the people even hate the goddesses, so there's those the images of the, the statues licking the Triforce and stuff like that. So it is a little a little weird, but it's interesting. Because, uh, like I mentioned, when I first played this, I kind of rushed through and I, I took this place as just kind of a quickly made, modeled dungeon that I didn't really appreciate as much as I do now looking at a lot of the hidden features and stuff. It is uh, a little crazy because you, you got the sky up in the air and we got dragonflies trying to kill us. Uh, but yeah, the, the sky's up in the air for now. I said that's crazy, but that's that's how it should be normally. The uh, the weird thing is going to be when we flip the script and change things around. So that's the first fairy right there, if you're collecting the stray fairies and you're keeping track. 
uh, you have to hit that I switch. And then over here, we can use these bomb chews to help blow stuff up, but I'm just gonna try to, you know, stay alive and not have them blast me. Drop that down. So we got a switch here, and normally your instinct is to, you know, put one of your creepy doppelgangers on that, but you want to use this block here because the Deku one is not going to help us and we only have three technically because of that. I can hear the real bomb chews going around, and as you can see, there are chests on the ceiling. That's a pretty big hint that we're going to flip this place over pretty soon. But yeah, this, this dungeon here is a, is a combined challenge of a lot of the skills that you've learned throughout the game, but it does feel a little bit like it's uh, it's put together pretty quickly because it was probably towards you know the end of the development cycle. They had to get something together in time to finish the game, and they were set on having these four dungeons for the most part. There we go. And here's a big hint. I'll give you guys a better look at the Darmani version of the uh, the creepy statue, since this is a Goron size switch here. There we go. Once we get past this little area, there's not too many spots that need these statues, so we're almost done playing the Elegy of Emptiness a million times. Uh, I, that's one of those things like the Iron Boots in Ocarina. Originally, you had to had to keep switching on the uh, the, the little item select or the yeah the equipment screen in in the N64 version of Ocarina, and it was pretty annoying because you had to go in there and uh, and do that. And then they switched. You know, every version of Iron Boots since the original Ocarina of Time have uh, basically been like an item, so you can put them on and off. But this is almost like a holdout from that style where you have to constantly do a thing that takes a little bit of time and can be kind of grueling to uh, to get through. But we're almost done. And I almost forgot, guys. I'll go back to that statue. I apologize. Got to make sure we're avoiding that bomb chew and putting these guys down. So yeah, there's there's 15 stray fairies, of course, in this dungeon, but you're not going to be able to get to get all of them when you run through for the first time because you gotta you gotta flip stuff around you gotta come back to chess it's a lot of making sure you activate stuff and then coming back to it later so here we've got the Darmani one he's got that big scar from when he fell into the canyon trying to to get to Snowhead but uh but he's looking cool and powerful he's uh he's still proud even though he's dead all right so we unlocked this area here Gotta look out for those dragonflies and so much stuff going around. I'm gonna leave a bomb right there and not get shocked, hopefully. Hey, get out of here. And we should be able to drop down. He's gonna knock me down anyway, so we'll just go down before they can knock me. <laughs> that was that was a crazy knock. The Gwei gave me a boost. There we go. That's what I want to do. We're okay. It looks like Link would take a ton of damage, but I'm, I've only lost like a heart, so. He's just a tough kid. Now we got a bunch of Armos down here, which are pretty easy to defeat with the Goron. He's got a strong punch, and they'll trigger other ones to come to life. The Goron is, is what I recommend using here because you're gonna need to walk across this lava as well. So I'll take these guys out and look out. There we go, all right. Just kind of kneel as they <laughs> blow themselves up. Oh wait, we didn't trigger it. Yeah, there we go. You gotta punch them one more time after you wake them up. For them to explode and then they'll explode their brother there we go Oop. no he's still he's still mad he hates he hates giant stones with eyes on them i don't know what it is about him all right so now that we did that we can uh we got those guys out of the way but we should actually do this before i forget there's a little hidden area over here there it is don't want to leave this behind so you hook shot up there and this should be stray fairy number two there we go and with that blasted open hole, we can get rid of this block using our mirror shield. And there's a couple more Armos over there. There's something that we need back here, but don't forget to get these guys out of the way and take them out because it's gonna be in your in your uh, benefit to destroy every little statue guy. There we go. Another hidden chest. So yeah, a lot of this stuff. If you're not if you're not taking the time to fully explore and get rid of enemies, you might miss some of the fairies that are high, hidden around here are different things that you need, like keys. All right, Goron Link's eyes always get huge when he opens his chest for just a second. All right, we got the dungeon map. Very useful in this dungeon because it can get pretty confusing. And we have another chest right here. Oop, jeez. Let's kick that open with our big old Goron boots. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to, yeah, really get right in front of it. There we go. All right, so now we have this key. And you guys probably saw there was a locked door upstairs. This is the staircase that we were at when we were getting knocked around by those enemies. 
And now we can go in here and look out for them. We open this up. That that key is, uh, I kind of remember losing track of that key when I first played, because, or not finding it originally because I didn't think to get rid of all the Armos. Let's get our Zora mask on. Here we go. Now there is a little switch in here that we're gonna want to hit. Gotta look out for all these guys. There's a little path to go through, but I think over here is a Dexy hand to look out for as well. But there's a switch that it would definitely be in our benefit to hit now rather than later, because this is one of those ones where we gotta come back to this, but it is nice to, uh, to take that out now. And that will make that chest appear, and you see there is a block over there. We couldn't open that yet, but we will in the future. And uh, let's grab our Deku mask. You could kind of hop up there a little bit by swimming, but I think the easiest way is just, you know, do a little skip jump. There we go, but we can't be, just like the statue, can't be a Deku to weigh that down. There we are. Got another little chest there. And if we hop back over, there we go. There's little chest, like I mentioned the N64 and the 3DS version are very different. And uh, I think there's there's stuff with crates in this part in the N64 version you have to use. and. You have to use that Dexy hand to throw you over a wall at one point, but uh, but this is just going to be for the 3DS version. There we go. All right, so let's jump down here and look out. I hate the Dexy hands because they do grab you and try to. All right, we're all right. He didn't even see me. He doesn't have eyes. Uh, we got another key, and we can swim swim through here. That switch down there, we are going to have to deal with a little bit later. Uh, that that little sun switch. We can't do too much with that yet. I think if I kind of hit those, there we go. Not really protecting me there, but at least we took out the mine that we needed to get rid of. That unlocks a chest that we need to make sure we do because it's also flipped. There's so many things you can miss in this dungeon. Definitely not my favorite of this game. I don't like hate it or anything, but it is. Uh, it can be frustrating to uh, to play through this and not realize, oh, I forgot to shoot this one thing or hit this one switch, and then you are just, you know, going through a bunch of this again because you missed this one little part. So let's go over here and, uh, got a bunny hood. We can go into that door. I think we can also get rid of this because we do have some light. Let's do that real quick. Here we go. It's tough, a little tough to uh, charge up these things. You have to have a steady hand enough to get it enough charge and then quickly get over here and do this. There we go. All right, and now we've opened our way into a little side area with a bomb. Let me get this real quick. <laughs> this should be the compass, I believe. Jeez, look at him. <laughs> nice smile there. Don't eat my compass, you bomb chew. Okay, <laughs> we're good, we're good. Uh, that door, I think that leads back into the central area, like if you wanna go back to the hub part, but it's blocked off normally because that, that cube is in the way. But we're good, all right, we got our key, we got our compass, we're good to go. These look familiar, right? This temple is all about weird tongues licking things, licking the Triforce, licking Goron's feet when they punch these out of the way. There we go. I love how they slide around all over. And we'll take care of these bows. Uh, one of the better things to do in this room is to use the good old stone mask and then the bows will leave you alone. They die from light as well. A lot of creatures hate light, you would, you know, not too surprising in this world of dead <laughs> skeleton kings and stuff. So there's one chest there. Uh, I think most of these you don't really have to worry about. They will kind of disappear and and uh, just burn up. But the one all the way, you know, on that right side, far left, is this chest. And this should have another one. This is Stray Fairy number three. There we go. Uh, the, the one that we, we bombed back there was kind of technically number three, but we can't get it yet. And we're going to charge up. I hope I have a steady hand for this, because like I mentioned, this can be kind of tough. Charge it up enough. You don't have to go too long. Just wait till those beams are, are pretty high, you know, in the sky. That'll give you enough charge to go in here and use that. It's like a trailing beams together. There is a uh, Nijiron here, right? No, oh, no, he won't pop up because I have the stone mask. I'll show you guys, though. He is uh, he is hiding here. He's waiting for a little kid to eat. There he goes. I hate these guys. They explode, but they do look like they're just kind of, they're just kind of squatting there, having fun. All right, so let's, I said I hate them. I guess I don't. They are, they are like weird Goron doppelgangers, though, so I don't trust them. All right, we got this pretty much glowing how we need it. And then if we quick, 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 get that going, go, 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 get as much glow on that as we can. 
And then when it's ready to go, get over here, and we gotta hurry. This is, okay. Yeah, I had some trouble with this when I was practicing, but we got it first try, so that's good. That part can be kind of tough, so be careful. Oh, a couple of these guys around. <laughs> They'll leave me alone, though. I don't think there's anything here we really need to mess with. It's just these guys are kind of like little traps. But there is some rupees. I'm trying to get as many rupees as I can because we need a bunch to get the heart piece from the bank. There we go. All right, now this room, there's a couple different things we can do here. First, I want to drop down as a Goron. You can see little areas that will uh, lift us up. But as the Goron, there's a switch here, and this part can be kind of tough. We got to quickly get to the other side. And rolling can be hard if you don't, you know, redirect your rolls fast enough. Let's see if we can do this quick, 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 and get over here. There we go. Man, I'm getting some good luck here. It's all going to build up, and then something horrible is going to happen later on that'll just ruin this dungeon. But there you go. Uh, I recommend kind of rolling ahead and then quickly, you know, unrolling. If you roll too fast, you're going to you're gonna have a hard time. You'll bump into these things, and that chest is, uh, or that switch is on a pretty tight timing. So do your best there to hit that one. That's another fairy. We're gonna get two in this room. All right, I'll take care of that. And let's grab our mask. So that should be, this should be uh, fairy number five and six, I believe. Keeping track of the ones that also are gonna be, uh, we're coming back to those a little later on. There is a kind of a side area here. If you can see it, there it is. This one's a bit easier to get. And also you get some extra rupees. But this little chest here, Another stray fairy, there we go. We just have to kind of go back again, so let me uh, let me get back into Goron form. We gotta go once more into the lava. Oh, actually, we could just jump off of there, right? And I think it will lift us up. Let's try this. Hope we don't burn up. There we go, yeah. Well, now we're going backwards, so that's not good. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. All right, go, go, go. Yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be rough. Let's try to turn this thing around. Whoa, <laughs> oh my gosh. It might be good to just, you know, restart where you're going. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I wasn't planning on hitting that. Yeah, lift me up, please. There we go. Oh no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're gonna fall. Can we make it? There we are. All right. Sorry about that, but we made it, so doesn't matter too much. Okay. There's the chest we unlocked with the Goron switch, and we're good to go. That is number six. There we are. And uh, we've gonna, next one here is gonna be a little more exciting to unlock. Uh, we won't get a straight fairy for a little bit, but we do have somebody dropping something on the ground. It looked like, I heard like bombs, but I think it was just gravel. This is the Garo Master. Do not fight him in Deku form. If you're gonna fight him in any form, the Goron is protected against the fire. You don't really wanna get hit. He fights a lot like the Garo, but if you want to get him, you kinda have to dodge. Oh jeez, it's a little tough to dodge his attacks. You wanna get out of the way and uh, hit him when he's not expecting it by uh, getting over. Oh, he's gonna drop down. Get him, get him, get him. There we go. Yeah, when he's uh, when he's not attacking, that's the time to to get him. I'm having some trouble here, but we'll get him eventually. You gotta give yourself en self enough room to get rid, or uh, get out of the way of his attacks. There we go. That's what you wanna do. Wait till he, uh, he kinda misses, and you get in for one hit and get out. Man, taking way more damage than I wanted to here. Let's try Goron, because I think he's fireproof. Get a punch in. Goron uh, does a good amount of damage. Not quite as much as you would with uh, with your fancy sword. Oh, he's trying to jump down on me. Can we hit him? Oh, he got away. No, he's looking around. <laughs> uh, here he comes. And, yeah, he's going to dodge it if we're not careful. I got to let him try to think he hit me and then go after him again. It's already night of the first day. You could definitely do this a little... A little more. Yeah, this is, like I mentioned, my luck is run out where I'm having a little trouble on this mini boss that normally isn't too tough. That's what you want to do. There we are. All right, so yeah, just get out of the way. Don't get hit a million times like I. Uh, to think I could be defeated, although you are my rival, you were spectacular. I shall take my final blow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. My final bow, sorry. If you shoot that which burns with a sacred golden light into the glowing red emblem outside the temple, the world shall be rearranged so that the earth is born in the heavens and the moon is born on the earth. Do not forget these words. Die I shall, leaving no corpse. So he blew himself up. That is the lie. The law of the Garo. Sounds like a lie because he laughed. He got the last laugh. All right. So he exploded and, uh, and left behind a little sacred treasure here. 
Now this is, it's so strange that this is in such a kind of evil temple, but it's one of the, the holiest of the Zelda items. It's the light arrow, the one we need to flip this place. The sacred light of justice resides in these arrows. Aim true to stay, slay evil and light the way. All right, so we are out of here. And uh, actually, I think we do have to aim true. Let me grab that, there we go. And I'll put that, I gotta organize my items a little bit. I got all my arrows in the row and that, that one's like, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna let you do that. I think we can, oh wait, that's not what we're doing. We're heading out of here. But uh, I thought we had to get a, get that door open, but maybe we come back to that now that I'm thinking about it. All right, let's go. Okay, so it's <laughs> sorry, I got turned around. That was where we came from and it locked it so we couldn't go that way. When you see a locked door, sometimes it's like, oh, I wanna go that way. But that's not where we're supposed to head. Let's uh, get this hip loop. I think that's what they're called, right? It's, uh, we gotta dodge quickly if it charges at you. But can't you first do something about that mask it's wearing? It's got a creepy little mask, which we can steal, and then uh, get him out of the way just with a bunch of hook shot shots. There we go. And uh, we'll be back to this room before too long. There's some stuff down there, but I don't think we have to worry about that right now. All right, another little battle before we finish up the episode here. This is an Igor. And if you guys have played Link to the Past, they should be familiar. It's an Igor, simply attacking it is no good. I say you should pay attention to the subtle changes in its eye. Or we could just, you know, hit it with light arrows and then hit it again. Yeah, it's not too tough. It does shoot out beams and stuff, but it's uh, it's not, maybe I should let it. Oh, never mind. We'll fight another one <laughs> a little later. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I, I should show you guys what they can actually do, but it's pretty easy. Just, you know, use the light arrows. Make sure you got plenty of magic, but we should be able to fill up here pretty soon. There we go. So that's why I got confused on the map. I got turned around. And when the door is locked, I'm like, oh, I gotta hit a switch to get out of there. All right, we are back here with this bomb chew, and we're ready to flip this place over. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Next time, we will start from the outside and go <laughs> through this place with everything flipped around, and I think we can finish with that. That'll be a good way to close the episode. You don't have to go all the way back in the 3DS version. You just kind of have to like look over here and we should be able to see. There it is. And everything is going to be, our whole world is going to be turned upside down. Normally you think Link would die from that, but no, he's, he's the hero. He's got it. And if you look at the face, now it looks even more like Majora's Mask. All right, let's head in. And here's the little hidden Triforces. Or actually, where are they? Did they take them out? Oh. Let me look. I think it still is there. You have to kind of, yeah, I think it might be like creeping over the edge because you see the two pieces a little bit there. Let me jump over here and try to look on one of the ones from before. So yeah, it's, it's licking. Oh wait, they might have taken them out. Ah, oh, weird. There's still a triangle there, but it doesn't look like the Triforce anymore. Hmm, that's suspicious. All right, thank you guys for watching. They're rewriting history a little bit. And uh, we'll have something else rewritten a little later when we get to the boss. Next episode, there's that Majora's Mask flipped over and melting. Looks like a Dolly painting. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. I'll see you guys next time on our final trek through the temple to finish things up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.